Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a collective makeup haul. I have been buying makeup like nobody's business and it's gotten a little bit out of hand but I wanted to show you guys what I've bought recently and let you guys know as well what I think of everything because luckily I have tried the items out. It's not just like a haul and I can tell you guys what I think of them. So this is going to be hopefully fun because I've been so into makeup and I have made probably three Sephora orders in the last few weeks, which is pretty crazy. And it is not cheap either. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and you enjoy me chatting away because obviously this is gonna be long. So let me just get started. I also have a few like accessories and like um, jewelry and stuff like that and perfume as well. You're gonna know how much I love this foundation when I hold up three colors in it. So this goes from the when I'm lightest, my palest, when I'm not fake tanned, to possibly the darkest shade that I can use. And I can also mix that darkest shade with all the other shades in case I need to custom color match. And the foundation in question is Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, oil-free, undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation. If you guys have like normal skin, if you're not oily, this is like your amazing foundation, holy grail, like it has the possibility to be that if you like a really flawless but still like a bit dewy kind of looking foundation, it's just amazing. I'll show you guys one of the bottles and this is in light beige. I list all the colours that I bought down below and it's beautiful. I love the packaging, although it is glass, it's a bit more fiddly to travel with but that's just something you've got to live with. And this is amazing, it's full coverage, you can definitely build this up. I'm wearing it today, but I would say if you are more of an oily skin girl and you can set your makeup, I would set this. I'm not a big fan of setting my makeup because I break out from powders, they just, I think I'm allergic to a lot of what's in powders and I just don't really like the look too much. I only really set under my eyes, but I like to mix this in with other foundations or if I do want that dewy look, I just wear this on its own. Um, I love it. The only thing, it's probably not as durable for a whole day as my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, but I have no qualms in mixing both of them if I need a bit more oomph and stay power in my makeup. So, like I said, I will list my colours down below, and this is my new Other Holy Grail foundation for that kind of dewy, plump look to my skin, especially when I like to look glowy. This is another cult thing that people just don't stop talking about on YouTube. And I was really excited to get it. I kind of got it on like a whim purchase just because like I said, I'm so into makeup at the moment. And I finally got myself a Visart or Visart palette. I don't know how you say it. Um, professional makeup palette. And I obs, you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, Barbara, you definitely got this one. <laughs> Mine's already really powdery because these are not non-powdery eyeshadows. These are quite powdery. So I got the matte eyeshadow palette. And I have to admit, this is one thing I, I, I have to say about it, considering this is like a £60 eyeshadow palette, the, the packaging is quite cheapy, like, it's, it's kind of like, you know the makeup that you would get when you're little and you kind of play with? I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit, like, bitchy about it, but those are the shades, and yes, they are like the most perfect shades in the world, especially for me, I like these kind of colours. I pretty much would use all of the colours except maybe the grey, I'm not a big grey person. And they are so buttery soft. At first I was kind of like, oh my god, did I really spend that much? But after using them for quite a while, I'm like, yeah, I kind of get it now. Um, as you can see, the shadows, these are my two faves. Obs, again. <laughs> like, look at that colour. Is that, or is that not, like, the prettiest orangey, browny colour? And I'm going to obviously wipe that all over my trousers. I love them. Um, I will list this down below. They have lots of different ones, but um, I think my life is made now that I have this one. I don't think I need any of the other, any of the other combinations. Um, my favourite colours have been this one, this one, this one, and probably this one. Like I said, I'm not more of a cooly kind of person, but if you were, this maybe isn't the palette for you because it's more warm based, except the top, the top row up there. But um, yeah, if you guys are into your high quality eyeshadows. You should try Vise, Visa, Visa, Potato Potato. Another thing that I'm really trying to get into is um, I had like a small size of this and I'm still going to keep that small size but I really wanted a larger size of this to like really use every single day and it's um, I got myself a The Healthy Deodorant by uh, La Vanilla and I'm going to try and get my sister onto this because I just think it's a good thing for us women to like, oh, I'm going to get like all that 
bloody I've got makeup all over everything literally you guys it's like orange makeup all over, all over everything um I think it's a really good thing to wear a healthy natural deodorant as a woman um just because we're prone to so many things and um the stuff you read about deodorants just isn't very nice and I have to admit I'm not a smelly sweat person but I do sweat if that makes sense and I have found that I can wear this at work and that it's not making me sweat anymore and um, it keeps me fresh I don't feel like I smell hopefully fingers crossed I don't and it does smell really nice they have lots of um, scent combinations if you are into a, a, a definite scent that you want and um, I got the vanilla coconut which is just like everything I like. Uh, another thing I really wanted to mention, you guys always ask me about my earrings and I never know like if you guys would be interested or not because I don't feel like I wear really interesting jewellery. Um, today I am a little bit more and I'll talk about what I'm wearing but um, I got these tiny teeny weeny studs from ASOS and I love them, they are absolutely tiny, these are what they look like. They're in a pack of 12, I think, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12, yes. And they were like a fiver, and I just really like them. I hope they come out with them in silver, because I definitely would get them, because I love dainty, really subtle earrings. I wish that I had my top piercing again, because um, I think it would look really cool with like three, but um, my body didn't like that one, and it rejected it. So I only have two, but I love them, and um, I like to mix metals, like I always wear like mixed metals, especially recently so I like to have um, gold every now and again. I'm much more into gold now that I have dark hair. I don't know why. I think it suits me better. I don't know why. Us women have these weird like things in our heads. I literally have so much makeup in here that I have a whole box dedicated to it. That's how crazy it is. If you guys have watched my last video, um, it's a tutorial, you'll have seen that I use this and it's Wonder Brow. Wonder Brow with a U and it's a jelly brow setter type thingy majiggy hybrid it just looks like this it's got a little nib and you paint it on to your eyebrows and I've got a little bit on today and it sets but it does not make your eyebrows look crispy if you guys want to see how I used it you can go on to see that video and I'll probably leave like a little clip of it here but um I love this I got mine in the color black brown but there's loads of different shades and you can get it from boots by the way guys if I'm being really fiddly with my hair it's because I got it cut today and I'm just all like judging it I love it but um you still you know my hair is one of those types of hair that the first day it's just always frizzy whatever I do to it like there's always a little bit of frizz and I can't just can't deal with it and I'm falling off my chair um another thing that I got which is brow related just because I had to try it and I think I got this from cult beauty it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills um brow definer and it's one of those slanted thingy majiggies which so many brands do now um but I love Anastasia Beverly Hills for brows, I love my brow pomade, um, which I still really like to use, but I wanted something that if I do need to just be quick, which <laughs> if I'm ever late to work or whatever, then I can use, and I didn't get a really dark colour, I got medium brown, just because my brows, I don't like them too dark, but I don't like them too light, especially now that I have dark hair, um, and it has like a spoolie at the end as well, which is great, I love this spoolie, um, it's really good <laughs> and I just think if you're one of those people that sometimes like a, likes a quick brow application this is good for I'm you. I'm doing this literally in like no particular order. I got a couple of things, um, I got a thing from the MAC, MAC Zach Posen collection and this was the only thing that really caught my eye. I'm not really a big MAC collection girl, like I don't really follow the, the trend so to speak but I really liked this and I actually like the packaging and I wanted it just because of the bronzer mainly. Because I have to admit, Mac, like, where did you think that it was practical to have that tiny little strip of blush? Like, really? Was that? I don't know. I just don't think it was practical. But I love that bronze shade. I'm wearing it now. It's not too, like, offensive or too orangey. Um, although it is quite warm. So if you're not into warm tones, then this is probably not for you. Um, I haven't used the blush all that much yet because... Like I said, it's like a tiny little stripe, but it does look very much like NARS Orgasm. If you can see that. My camera's doing all sorts of funk today, like it just doesn't look right. Like the colours when I'm looking at it doesn't look, like it doesn't look right. Another couple of stuff for the face from MAC. Um, I've repurchased this because I remember I used to love it, but I thought it used to break me out on my... Um, cheekbones I have a lot of highlighters in this video you guys I apologize in advance if you're not into highlighters but I really really am it's my favorite part of my makeup 
So I repurchased MAC Soft and Gentle Skin Finish. I'm sure everyone um, has this, but I just needed it back in my life. The only thing is, look how like messy this thing gets. I can't imagine that it's just my one that does it. Um, I can imagine everybody's does. But it's just a beautiful pinky pearlescent highlighter, kind of um, reminiscent of Opal by Becca. Um, and I love it, especially when I'm tanned. Like, I really, really love this. Beautiful. And then I also got, because this is something else that everyone talks about and has been talking about for years, but I've always stayed away from the mineralized blushes by MAC because my cheeks are my problem area and I just thought, like, putting a shiny blush on there is just going to highlight it. But now my skin's gotten a little bit better. I can, I feel like I can get away with it. I, the only thing about the new MAC packaging is it's a pain to open, especially when you've got long nails. Yes, I have long nails again. No one say anything. I know, it's naughty, but it's my birthday next week and I just really wanted to pamper myself. So I got my hair cut today. I got my nails done last week. I just want like, I just want to feel pretty again. And I know it sounds so stupid, but my nails make me so happy. And I love this color that I have on now as well. Super sad and super materialistic, but this is Warm Soul. Really super pretty blush. It's like a pinky bronzy colour with a little bit of iridescence. This is my first iridescent blush, you guys. Pat me on the back because I just don't wear iridescent blushes um, and I really, really like this. So if you're a matte girl, I think you need warm soul, especially if you like a, a tan. So yeah, I love that. I'm going to talk about something that I was looking for to get for ages too. And this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And I got this because, who was I watching? That really famous a uh, really pretty Instagram girl. Is it from Nat and Liv? I'm sure you guys know who I mean. Um, she does WAGS, the, the show in the, in the US. And it's an under eye brightener from Becca. And you guys know Becca's like one of my favorite, 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 favorite makeup brands. And the one thing I would say with this is a little goes a long way and you need to set it. I can't wear this on its own. Um, if I'm just gonna wear this and not set my concealer. This thing is creamy, as you can see. Like, it's super creamy. Um, not to say that it's bad, it's just really creamy, and you need to set it. Two things like that, though, that I have repurchased are, um, I just got some Prep and Prime today from MAC, and I got Bright Forecast, which I just run out of. Um, it's those clicky pens, and this is like the, um, like, yellowy color. Yellowy color, you know, like, more yellow based. I also got the more pinky based one because I just thought I would try it for under my eyes and this is in Radiant Rose. The matte girl who dealt with me I was not fond of but um, so those are the colours. The lighter one is the Radiant Rose and Bright Forecast is the more yellow one. I really like these. These are similar to the Becca but they don't need setting but they're not as, they don't pack as high a punch. They're just kind of good to put over your concealer. Okay, I'm going to really quickly talk about liquid lipsticks because I've been on a liquid lipstick hype, you guys. Um, yeah, just like everyone else and their mum on YouTube and Instagram. I got these a lo long time ago now, but um, I thought I'd show them anyway. And it's the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I got Lolita 1 and Lolita 2. Uh, this is Lolita 1 and this is Lolita... No, this is Lolita 1 and this is Lolita 2. I'm yet to wear Lolita 2. It's a little bit more like ready terracotta, which I don't wear that often. Um, and this is a bit more pink, which I did wear in my last video, so you guys can see that. These are great. I just really want bow and arrow. That's the only shade now that I really, really want, but um, I haven't got a hold of it yet. I also got from Sephora's website, I got um, Pure Hollywood, which is something I've wanted for so long. And I'm a little bit disappointed with it. It's a bit more peachy than um, I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit more just straight up like nudie pink. But um, when I'm having a peachy day, I'll wear it. It's just not... I'm more onto these kind of like cooler, weirder colours. Um, but it is still really pretty. It looks really nice with Boldly Bare Lip Liner by MAC. Two that have really wowed me and they're a lot more um, easily accessible to us in the UK are the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks, I think they're called. I got... Caramello and Bachi. So that's Caramello, which I'm wearing today, and that's Bachi, which um, is like a like a purpley, purpley pink, and this is more like a nudie, I don't know, what would you guys call this? These literally stay all day, like, they're, they're like no joke, this is not gonna budge, 
The first application you have to be careful because it can get on your teeth. But after that first one, it's fine and um, you're not going to have a trouble. So um, yeah, I could just completely love these. And if you're into li liquid lipsticks, you need the Stila ones. They also smell like vanilla cupcakes, so that's always good. Another thing that Sephora has finally come out with um, on Anas like for the Anastasia brand is their eyeshadows. And I know you can get them from the Anastasia website, but I just, I really like ordering from Sephora. I feel like I know how many imports I'm going to, duties I have to pay and tax and all that malarkey, and I just feel really comfortable. So I saw that they have her eyeshadows, but so many of them are sold out already, so I'm just going to be patient. And every time I do a Sephora order, I'm going to order a couple more. So I got myself two things. I got myself a Z palette. So this is the Sephora own brand Z palette just because I might as well like get the one that's on Sephora instead of doing two orders. And I got the dome one I think, so it's like the larger one. And as you can see I only have four shadows in there but I intend to get more. And it comes with, I wanted to show you guys, loads of mag magnetic inserts and instructions on how to um, like depot your eyeshadows. And I got four colours. I got Orange Soda, which is the lightest shade. I got Morocco, I got Burnt Orange, and I got Sienna. One of these is Morocco and Sienna. That's uh, Orange Soda, and that's uh, Burnt Orange, I think. So those are the, I don't wanna, there we go. So you guys can see what the shades are. Is that better? Yeah, that's maybe better. And um, I intend to fill this bad boy up. Um, Jaclyn Hill did a video on her favourite eyeshadows and she recommended so many good ones but they were literally, all the ones she mentioned were sold out so uh, I wasn't in luck but um, I'll definitely be looking at them in the future. Lastly, highlighters. If you guys didn't watch my last video please go watch it because I use these Kiko highlighters that um, oh, I always forget her name, Tati mentioned and they're amazing. They're like liquid powder, powder to liquid to, yeah liquid to powder and that's one of the shades and this is in one and this is the second shade which is like the really glittery one and this is in two and if I show you guys you'll get what I'm saying bam that's crazy right there so um yeah if you guys are into highlighter you need those and I hope that they're still available so I wanted to show you guys ASAP I don't know what I feel about the packaging. I just kind of feel like it's just a little bit weird, but um, I, don't, I don't know what they were trying to do. But um, yeah, it's a little bit odd. I was looking for these for ages, and I have to admit, because I'm such a big like highlighter fanatic, I kind of just felt like I needed these. Would I say that you need them? Not really if you're like into really stark highlighter, but I did get the Hourglass Ambient, ambient Strobe Lighting Powders. I got two. I got Incandescent and Brilliant. Incandescent is like a pinky, pearly shade. So that's the shade. And I do have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, like one of them. But these just don't pack the same, I'm gonna keep saying pack the punch, like, but they don't. Even wet, I don't feel like they're as good as the Becker's and the MAC, uh, the MAC one I got and all that. But they are nice. If you're not into crazy, crazy highlighter, then um, yeah, they're good. And then I also got a Brilliant Strobe Light, which is the more um, yellowy based one. They're nice for like work or, you know, if you don't want to be OTT with your makeup. Lastly on the makeup front, I got uh, another thing that um, came out on Sephora Anastasia section is the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is big, like I didn't think it was going to be this big, like this is like really big. And this is the colours. I'll do a quick swatch. I'm just a really big fan of like Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, I chose like really bad fingers. Those are the swatches there. Um, yeah, really pretty. Again, I have to play with these a little bit more. I literally just got these in the post yesterday. So um, I, I haven't played around with these as much, but they're really pretty. You could probably layer this onto your bronzer and look really good. And I love Anastasia, so it was just like, I had to have this. It's almost like Anastasia Beverly Hills is like collector's items for me. I just love her brand. And that's it for makeup. Let me know if you guys um, have tried any of this stuff, like what you think of it and how you use it um, and all that jazz. And now I'm going to talk about accessories because I know I'm sure lots of you guys want to know where the hell this little thing is from. This is from ASOS. I will link it below. I also got this little guy from um, Urban Outfitters and I'll link it below but it's like one of those more cowboyish um, designs. Like it looks like a lace. 
um, like a suede lace um, necklace and you just tie around. Obviously it looks ridiculous with the both of them on. Every time I wear them I get loads of compliments on them as well. Um, and I really like these ASOS ones because they're surprisingly comfortable. Um, they're suede so they don't feel really tight. I've completely lost my voice. Um, and I also have the black one so I'll link that down below. Um, I would say they're really flimsy though so do be careful. Um, and I intend to order like quite a few because I just don't want them to like, I just don't want them to keep breaking. And I did mention it's my birthday next week, so I have already treated myself to a couple of things. Um, I, like I said, I got my hair cut today and stuff, um, just because I wanted to pamper, and I'm not really going all out, but I got myself a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys, and first thing are these. Oh my god. Yes, it's sunglasses, Barb is, like, insane. Oh my god, Celine just does amazing stuff. So, if you guys watched my... One of my other hauls, I did get some other Celine sunglasses, but I frigging adore these. Like, I can't get over them. They are just insane. I love the tortoise shell or whatever design it is at the bottom. And I loved the, like, just really strong look of them. I prefer these with my hair straight um, rather than, like, wavy. But I just love them. Like, literally adore them. Again, I got these from otica.net, which is where I got my other sunglasses from. They came within like four days, uh, and I think they are from Italy, and I just love them. Then another thing that I uh, treated myself to is a new perfume, and I got, this is so, like, blogger, I got a uh, Bredo Blanche. And I got this from Liberties today, and I have to admit, the shopping experience at Liberties is pretty good. <laughs> like, I, I really do like it there. It comes in this really cool, huge box. And I'm gonna get makeup all over this box. Yeah, I already have. Because I've got makeup all over my hands. And I got the, uh, it just worked out better to get the the 100 mil. And this is, uh, like I said, Blanche. I can't say it properly. I hope I said it right. Another one though that she gave me a sample of that is so nice. Um, I'll write the name here if I uh, remember what it is. But honestly, if you guys like Molecule OI, that kind of smell, like, fresh but different, you will love this. It's it's just insane. The smell of it is gorgeous. And I can't wait to wear it. I know this sounds really silly and you guys are going to think I'm so sad, but I have a job interview on Monday. And I intend to, like, douse myself in it and feel really, like, sophisticated and, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, really sad. But I've missed you guys so much and I really miss talking about makeup because I'm so into makeup at the moment, it's crazy. Um, and like beauty and all that kind of malarkey. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I'm going to probably film an update now because, yeah, I think you guys have been asking me quite a few questions and like where I've been and all that stuff. So it's only nice for me to let you guys know what I've been doing. I love you guys lots. Take care of yourselves. Let me know. Of anything that's going on with you and let me know about your makeup favorite. Love you lots guys. Take care.